this is a pretty cool video that I wanted to make for you guys. Basically, we are using DSLR controller using micro USB OTG on the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Now these are fairly cheap. I think this one I paid like uh, 99 cents for, and then I paid like $4 for shipping. And then the one I'm using on my Galaxy Note 2, I paid like $7 and it was Amazon Prime, so I didn't have to pay for shipping. But they're fairly cheap and I'll definitely have links to these in the description of the video. It'll also work on something like the Galaxy Note 2. It'll say USB connected here in a second when I hook up this flash drive. It'll say at the top, preparing USB storage. Now, I'm running AOKP, and even with AOKP and Sanjimod in the stock ROM, unfortunately, you are kind of stuck. What you have to do is download an app called Stick Mount from Chainfire, who is the same person that made this, and press Mount. And once you mount it, then you can go to something like ES File Explorer, and you'll notice that when you open ES File Explorer and you go to Favorites, you won't see it. You'll actually have to go to USB storage right here, and then SDA1, and then there's everything that's on the flash drive. And there's a small, tiny little light. Now, this thing went through the washer, so the light's not as bright as it used to be, but it still works just fine. <laughs> that was really sad. I kind of thought somebody stole it. But uh, this right here was like 20, I think 29 bucks and it's 32 gigs and it's like the fastest flash drive literally like 25 megabit or megabyte write speed per second so like you can transfer stuff to this at an average of about 20 megabytes a second pretty insane and then when you want to eject it you just open you bring this down and you click stick mount and then it unmounts it active none and the light stops flashing and you can pull it out but unfortunately it says you removed USB storage and it wants you to insert it again. And it doesn't do it with that one with the stock ROM. To get rid of that message, you just clear your notifications. It's that simple. But the point of this video wasn't to show you anything about Samsung. As you all know or may not know, HTC is notorious for not supporting USB OTG. Well, guess what? I was bored and I was transferring my titanium backup folder from my 32 gig external SD card, it's in my Note 2, and I was transferring it to this right here so I could transfer it to that instead of doing Dropbox and waiting forever. And <laughs> so I need to clean my screen, but on here, I was bored. So I literally just, you know, took this, put it in here, and I was like, I know the Evo 4 GLT does not support OTG, so I'll, I'll just, I'll try it anyway, why not? Hooked it up. Lo and behold, what do you see at the top there? Preparing SD card. Open up ES File Explorer. Choose the little favorites icon when it pops up. USB Disk 1. Everything that you saw on the Galaxy Nexus is on here because it's on this 32 gig flash drive, which they do have a 64 gig, but the 64 gig is like $94, or it was when I last looked at it, and this was like $29, so it's like, why not just get 32 instead of, <laughs> you're paying a dollar for each gig on this one, but you're paying like $2 for each gig on the other one, so whatever. Anyways, I thought that was pretty cool, and when you go to menu, settings, I am running 100% stable size of my 10 on this thing. So it's pretty freaking insane. No more force close when you turn it on with the dialer. If you go to storage and then you go down here, you'll see unmount SD card and it says USB storage. See, check that out. 32 gigabytes of USB storage. And then I can just press unmount SD card. Okay. And now it's not there anymore and I can choose to mount it if I wanted to use it again. And this one does it as well. You unplug it after you unmount it and it says removed. Like, I safely removed it, so I wish it didn't do that. I highly recommend downloading Stable Science My 10. You do not get the stupid force close when you reboot it to the dialer. You don't get that anymore. The only thing I found that messes up is when you use the camera and then you choose the front camera and you choose like big eyes or something. When you choose any of those effects, the camera automatically force closes. So that's the only thing I found with it that doesn't work right now. I do plan on doing a video of this ROM, like a full review. I know I've already did one, but Sinatra My 10 Stable is freaking sweet. And I probably will never ever install another Synth ROM unless I'm 
requested to do so on a video and then I'll just go back to this. Anyways, I want to show you something real quick that is freaking awesome. I can actually open up the Google Play Store, search for an app called DSLR Controller, and download it right there. It's a beta. It's like nine bucks, but if you're doing DSLR videos like I am, it's freaking worth it. And it's going to be much more expensive whenever he releases the full version of it because this is just a beta. All right, so now that we've installed it, we will take this, which is hooked up to my Canon 60D, and then I'll put it in there. My camera automatically stops recording and it's asking me if I want to choose DSLR and once I press always, it's going to stop recording again. Now, I'm on my freaking HTC Evo 4G LTE using USB OTG. Freaking awesome. I can press somewhere and it'll start focusing my camera on that spot or I can change my aperture, which there's so many, there's five all the way to 32, and I don't know which one to choose. If I choose 6.3, the video goes dark. If I take it back to 5.0, the video gets a little bit brighter. Then I can also go to the ISO and change that. Now like, the, bright, the higher the ISO, the brighter the video. But when there's like white text on the screen, like you saw the always or just once screen, when I plugged it in, it doesn't show up right. It's really bright and you can't read it. So you gotta dial down the ISO. But see, I'm doing all of this from my freaking Evo 4G LTE. I did not think this was possible. I tried it with me and Rom, I tried it with everything else. It just did not work. So with stable CM10, it will work. I'm not saying it won't work with the latest me and Rom because I have not honestly tried it in a very long time, but I can tell you that I am running stable CM10 and I will have a link to stable CM10 for the Evo 4G LTE in the description of the video you're currently watching. Wow, that was a mouthful. Don't you dare. Anyways, this is freaking sweet. So if you have an Xbox 360 controller, it's wired, you can plug it in here and you can download a PlayStation 1 emulator, an N64 emulator, a Game Boy, NES, SNES, Genesis, etc. You can download emulators and play with them using a controller. So uh, PS3, you can use a wired PS3 controller as well. Flash drives, like you saw, you can access files. You can transfer a file from your internal storage so like if there's something that you don't want to delete but it's taking up space, you can hook this up to it and transfer the file to this and save space. Um, with the Galaxy Nexus, you can actually make Nandroid backups onto, no, let's do it real quick. I'm gonna reboot it into recovery. I am on the very latest AOKP JB, which is my favorite ROM in the world. Honestly, you just get so many different customization options, it's insane. Now, since this has an external SD card, the micro SD card slot, you can't store your backups on a thumb drive, which would be cool if you could have that third option. But on the Galaxy Nexus and the Nexus 7, you don't have external storage, so you're gonna have to. But if you go to backup and you choose like these three main options and then you choose enable compression, external SD, and it should say we have 18 gigs left, which is this one. And if we choose the internal, you'll see that we have like 8.6. So now I can swipe to back up, and right there it says USB OTG. It's saving it onto this thing. If you could see the little light flashing, it is, trust me. So yeah, <laughs> USB OTG, save files to it, um, use your camera, control your camera completely with this. I can drag this over here and focus on my, e my Galaxy Note 2, which is my favorite phone. Um, but honestly, how smooth CM10 is on this thing, I'm considering switching back to this thing momentarily just for a little bit. Um, yeah, no freaking complaints at all. Uh, it's smooth. It's freaking CM10. It's not bloated. <laughs> I freaking love it. Oh, um, I'm using. Okay, let me switch to my. Let me switch it around so I'm no longer using DSLR controller on here. Stop recording. While it's doing this, I'm gonna borrow the USB cable that was going to my camera real quick, and I'm gonna plug this into here. And then I'm going to plug this into here. And we're going to try something that I honestly have not tried yet. I'm going to hook up this 250 gig hard drive. Okay, it's just going click, click, click. It's not getting enough power to actually power it. 
So you will need to use a powered portable external hard drive. I do have one, but I'm not gonna go in there and get it, but yeah. So you can use a external hard drive if it's powered. This doesn't have enough power to power it. I'm curious about something real quick. Does the Galaxy Note 2 have enough power to power the portable hard drive? No, it's just going click, click, click as well. So that doesn't support it either. You gotta have a powered docking station thing, then it'll work. See, USB connector connected. Anyways, all right, so now I have my Transformer Prime recording my, you know, doing my DSLR controller stuff like I always have. But anyways, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to take this little uh, thing from my mouse, plug it in here, and then hook this up to the Evo 4 GLTE and see if, yep, we have a mouse on the screen. Like I can press on settings, it takes me to settings, and I can scroll, and you know, just scroll, and then click on like launcher, and then choose home screen, and then scroll. This is pretty cool, this is awesome. So unplug that, I mean I can look a keyboard up and start typing without actually using the on-screen buttons. My keyboard's in the living room, but hopefully you guys get the point. USB mouse, USB flash drive, powered external hard drives, game controllers. There's so many things you can do, and this now supports it with CM10. This is freaking awesome and insane and... <laughs> I cannot stress how awesome it is being able to use full-size USB peripherals on your Android device. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're one of the couple hundred people that have commented and that have tweeted me about, you know, what's been going on, I really, really, really appreciate y'all. I'm fixing to post an update on my second channel. Um, things are going, getting a little bit hectic right now, so I might not be able to post this video tonight, but hopefully I can. Um, Again, I'll, I won't talk about it here, but I will definitely post it on my second channel, hopefully tonight. So if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. It'll notify me when I post new videos, and I post new videos on a regular basis. I've been kind of off schedule lately because of everything that's been going on. If, again, please head over to my second channel if you're curious at all about what happens behind the scenes. This is what would Josh do, and I'm out. This is a behind the scenes kind of thing. You'll have to excuse my mess. I'm on my Galaxy Note 2, so the video might be a little bit shaky. I'm trying something new. So, I got my DSLR, and then I got this little, like, thing that I can sit on right here. And I have my Samsung Go mic right here. And I have the line out so you can monitor the audio going all the way up into my camera. So, that way, Instead of using the internal mic on here that sucks and picks up all the background noises, it was picking up the audio that was coming from here. And this is oh, just going to my old laptop, so that way I can give it power, because it needs power. I am going to get a Rode VideoMic Pro shotgun thing, I just, that requires money that I don't have right now. So, <laughs> I just got this little thing clipped like that onto there, so that way like while I'm recording, you know, it's recording all the stuff on the table, and my voice is talking like directly into this little mic right here. It's awkward holding it like this. Again, I have <laughs> always trying to improve, so yeah, this is just a quick little behind the scenes. I post stuff like this on my second channel all the time.